Let me show you a step-by-step -step guide on how to create one of these interactive tables to your Medium stories. So this is a question I get asked a lot, so I thought that I will make a short video about it. So basically, when you use Medium, you may have noticed that these options are very limited here, so you can't really add a table as a native option on the Medium editor. So you need to rely on a third-party service, and the one that we're going to use in this video, and the one that I always use is going to be free. And thanks to ChatGPT, this is also going to be very easy for you to do. So this one right here is an example table, and this is called Markdown language. And don't worry, this sounds technical, I know, and it doesn't really need to mean anything to you because you can do this with ChatGPT entirely. So basically, I have just asked ChatGPT to create a markdown table with some sample data. And here is the table. As you can see, it's formatted almost to look like a proper table. You have the names of the columns, columns here, and then you have some spacing, and then you have these values here. And now if I copy this and then head over to gist.github.com and I paste the table here and I give it a name, for example, example table.md, this is going to do the trick for me. So this .md is an important step here. So if you have a markdown table like this, you need to name it .md so that the GitHub render as well as the medium renderer knows that this is going to be a nicely formatted table. And for example, right now, if I click on this preview, I can see this table that looks like this. And then once you want to go live with this, first you need to drop down here and click on create public gist. So this make, makes it available for all these websites. If it's a secret gist, you can render it privately but you can't show it on a Medium post. So please make sure to make it public. And then once you click Create Public Gist, it takes a second to render. Then you can just copy the URL of this page that you're seeing right here. And then you can head over to Medium, paste the URL that you were given from the gist.github.com, hit Enter, wait for a couple of seconds, and here you have your table. And by the way, if you want to add links to this table, so for example, these could be your affiliate links and these could be names of some products, you can just ask the GPT, can you add sample links to the table? So this is a somewhat of a technical implementation, so this looks very messy to you, I know, but this basically just, and let me actually copy paste this to the table. So we can go back to the original table here, we can click on edit, and I can now paste these links here. And the idea is very simple. So these square brackets will tell basically what the link says, and then these normal parentheses will insert this URL as the link under this text. And that's pretty much it. Then you can just preview the changes. And as you can see, here we have our links in place. And right now I can click on Update Public Gist. And then if I head over to my Medium story and I refresh it, I can see this updated table right here. So that's how you create a table. But if you want to take the automation to the next level, you can actually just copy paste your entire blog post. For example, if you have listed some tips or products or whatever it is, and you can copy paste this to ChatGPT and you can tell ChatGPT to create a markdown table from this post. And because ChatGPT now analyzes this post, it knows that, okay, this is a list post of some kinds of products. It will actually start to create this kind of a markdown table with these links, use cases, additional resources, and stuff like that. And if I were to do this, this would take at least 20 minutes or so. But thanks to ChatGPT, this only takes like 15, 30 seconds. And right now I can copy this, I can add it as this table right here in the gist. I can preview the changes. So right now I have this table that the AI rendered in 15 seconds based on this blog post that I just entered it. And right now I could embed this, for example, if we click on update public gist and I go to my medium story and I refresh it, here is a complete table that summarizes the blog post. And I think this is a crazy cool use case of AI.
So you can render, render these types of tables to your Medium post with ease. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope this clarifies on how I'm actually able to create these kinds of tables to my blog posts. So it's actually very simple. Just ask ChatGPT, create a GitHub gist and make it public and add the link to your Medium story and hit enter and that's it.